Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I am so thrilled to be with you tonight, and I am so honored that you are here. If you are, uh, if you are joining us for the first time for our uh, our live virtual uh, intensive, welcome. If you are, this is uh, if, if you are returning, welcome even more. Uh, my name is Nicholas Vaselli. I'm the artistic director of uh, Theater Breaking Through Barriers. I am indeed coming to you live and in person from right here in the heart of the Thunderdome, Midtown Manhattan. And on behalf of all of our artists, I want to cordially welcome you to uh, our second Hybrid Playmakers Intensive or HPI 2, live and in person. I apologize that we're starting late. I have to let you know, um, one of the uh, one of the little things of, of working this way is we have to rely so heavily on technology. And if something goes off, then it can sort of throw everything into a turmoil, which is exactly what happened, uh, you know, 10 minutes ago. So thank you for, for hanging with us. I don't want to say much more other than I want to get right to our show tonight. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, um, we have a great show. Um, the play uh, is called No Sandwich for Me, Please, by the brilliant Robin Carmen Marshall, who's worked with us before uh, many times, and we've had the opportunity to see her perform, as well as um, write. We'll get to see her writing tonight. Uh, the show is directed to perfection by Anne-Marie Morelli, and we have, guess what, an incredible cast, Marianne Conk, Christopher Hurt, Estrella Tamez. Without any further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy Robin Carmen Marshall's No Sandwich for Me, Please. I'm Valentina. I'm Mexican-American in my early 50s. I have long brown hair. I'm wearing a plaid button-down shirt with long sleeves. My Zoom background is a farmhouse-style kitchen in New Mexico. There is a stove behind me along with open-style shelving with hanging pots and pans. Hi. I'm playing Mary. I have short red hair. I'm wearing tortoise glasses and a blue top. Sitting in the dining room of the New York City apartment, I share with my husband, Bob. Behind me is an antique desk with mirrors and a wrought iron bookcase. I'm Bob, Mary's husband and a retired accountant. In my 60s, balding, wearing glasses, a dark sweatshirt, and a dark vest with lots of pockets. I'm sitting at a desk next to a dark wood bookshelf with a couple of old maps hung on the wall behind me. Oh, I have a few minutes. I'll just check on them. Hello. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to see your name pop up on my phone. How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing great. Did I catch you at a bad time? Oh, no, 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 no. Of course not. I always have time to talk to you. Um, I'm just going to put you on speaker so I can finish up here. Hey. Ah, what did I do to deserve this call? You're so dramatic. Can you please relay that compliment to every producer in New York? I'm on it. So how's the weather there? Now, Mary, come on. If anyone can predict the weather, it's you. Take a guess at it. Today, there was low humidity in the beautiful city of Albuquerque with a high of 45 and a low of 32 degrees. Almost, almost. High of 43 with a low of 27 today. <laughs> well, when you've lived in a place as long as we lived in Albuquerque, you have a pretty good idea what the weather is. We are expecting snow flurries today. I did some light shopping and we're hunkering down just in case. So, how are the kids? The kids are doing really good. Ah, oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, I miss seeing them. How are things there on the farm? 
Oh, coming along great. Finally getting some much needed repairs done. <laughs> oh, you remember that fence on the left side of the pasture? The one near our garden? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the one. We finally fixed it. Oh no, I loved it being down. That's how we met. If that fence hadn't been broken, and by the way, it was like that before you purchased the farm, we never would have met. I mean, we would have just continued waving at each other. But there's something about having your garden destroyed, destroyed by, by goats. goats. <laughs> My God, I was mortified. I know. I was too for a while. Until a few days later, I saw this tractor pulling a wagon through the field. You had it filled with plants and tools and those two lovely children of yours. How are they getting along with the new neighbors? Oh, my gosh. They rarely get a chance to see them because they're up early for school and then out late in the evenings for practices and rehearsals. Right, right, right. Do the neighbors have children too? Because I didn't see any when they came for the showing or during the closing. Yes, small ones. They're young. Oh, by the way, they did manage to get in a small crop of peppers, cucumbers, and tomatoes this past year. They offered us some. I'm so glad the goats didn't ruin their garden. <laughs> Me too. Those goats of yours. <laughs> It's still one of my favorite stories to share. We were there together for 10 wonderful years. And when we left you and the kids, it felt like we were leaving family. Because we are family, even if we're apart. Come on now, don't go getting soft on me, New Yorker. Speaking of family, my mother moved in with us. Oh, is she ill? No, no, she was lonely. I could tell. She came to visit over the summer, and when it was time to leave, she seemed so sad about it, you know? I do. We talked, and she, she shared that she needed to be with family. I know it's been hard for her since Dad died. She said that the house was full of memories, and she had no one to say, hey, you remember when? Yeah, I knew it was time to bring her here. You're a good daughter. Enough about us. So tell me what's going on. What's happening? I see something interesting in your hand. Ah, uh, yes, you do. It's a new script. I've been cast in this new play. And I tell you, Valentina, I couldn't be happier than I am right now. Tell me about the role. Well, think about the Golden Girls. The Golden Girls? Really? Think about Blanche. Oh my gosh, Mary, you've been cast as Blanche from the Golden Girls? <laughs> Just like her, uh, but her name is Tess. And you're going to be amazing in your role as Tess. The best <laughs> Tess ever. Ugh. I always dreamed I'd be living in the city and auditioning for this role and that role, attending performances. Our relocation happened at just the right time. I'm telling you. I am loving this for you. So what is Kelly saying about all this? She tells me to be careful, not to get my hopes up too high because there aren't enough roles for all the actors. <clears throat> and how do you respond to that? I tell her I'll be careful. Mary, she doesn't want you to have your guard down. That's all. She's right. Times are different than how they were when you lived in the city as a young woman. I know. She means well. She does. Has she been up with her family to visit you guys? Oh, yeah. Uh, she has her hands full with driving the grands around, like you. But she does stop by to check on us. <sighs> She's disappointed that we didn't choose a senior community on the island near her. I told her we didn't want to be a bother to her and her family, and she's still insisting that we move in. Why not just tell her the truth? No. She's such a sensitive one. She seems to think that we need her to accompany us to doctor's appointments. And do you know that now she wants to know if we have all of our paperwork in order? 
healthcare proxy, will, living will, this form, that form. She's looking out for you, Mary. She just wants to make sure the both of you are okay. Maybe so. You're right. You know, she's always liked a lot of attention, that one. Always crying wolf. Always making things out to be worse than they really are. We both had our health challenges, but we can take care of each other. I mean, we did it for the 40 years we lived out there. You did, but now you're getting older. You need to be closer to family. That's the other reason I moved my mom here with me. I want to be able to help her when she needs it. Absolutely. But we're fine. I'm just starting to enjoy my life again. I wanted to move here for one simple reason, and that is theater. I want to hear it, see it, discuss it, breathe it. Uh, there's something about the smell of a costume from storage that's been sprayed with vodka and Febreze that just makes my toes tingle. You were created for the stage, drama queen. Seriously, though? That is how I feel when I pull that costume over my head. <laughs> totally a drama queen. <laughs> this is going to sound selfish, but I can say it to you. Do you think she just wants us around to babysit? She's still in her childbearing years, thanks to her grandmother on her father's side of the family. Do you know that woman had children up until she was 52? Now, I don't have problems with the other two older grandchildren, but I'm not ready to stop my life and become a full-time babysitter. No, I, I'm just not. Mary, come on now. Kelly's not like that. I know her. Well, I know her too. She's always been Bob's favorite, you know. The golden child is what the other children called her. Are you think I'm a drama queen? She has always been drawn to martyrdom. I'm raising my kids and caring for my elderly parents. See details of my day-to-day -day on Facebook and Instagram. Why are you so hard on her? I don't mean to be. It, it's just how I feel. I still love her dearly. How can you see a good daughter in me and not recognize the good daughter in her? Everything that she's asking you and Bob to do is what I'm doing for my mom. There's a, a term for it. It's um, sandwich generation. That's it. Oh, I forgot that I had the speaker on. Um, <laughs> uh, Bob, say hello to Valentina. I just need to use Hi. the restroom. Uh, oh. Okay, bye. Hey, hello, my my dear favorite goat farmer. <laughs> and to my dear former numbers cruncher, <laughs> how are you? Oh, I'm doing good for a 1950s model human calculator. Ah, as long as the calculations end in the green. <laughs> and they do. <laughs> the boys ask about you all the time. Oh, I follow them on social media. You do? Yes. I congratulate Enrico every time he posts about his soccer games. I've also been keeping up with our musician. The kid's good. He's gotten really good. I remember when the wind would drift the sound of his practices down that road to our house. Painful. Oh, no. I promise you. You were not the only person who was ecstatic when he got first chair in the orchestra. <laughs> that is too funny. It's my first time hearing this. Oh. <laughs> I know they appreciate it. Yeah. How's your mother? I don't know if you heard me say that she's living with us now. I did. She's doing really well. She's been waiting to get her hands in the soil and boss us around. <laughs> I bet she is. <laughs> Still in National Puzzlers League? Oh, I am. Have the enigma in my hand as we speak. <laughs> oh, is this the monthly puzzle? What type? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I am currently working on a few, including this metathesis. And what does that mean again? I know you told me once before. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, that's when you interchange two letters from a word or phrase to make a new word or phrase, like um, converse and conserve. I remember now. I've been working on some of these with the group for about two days. We work on them and then schedule a meetup after we solve some. Is it easier to find groups there as opposed to here? Our membership is small in comparison to other groups, but I really couldn't have asked for a better location. I mean, <laughs> there's a fellow on the third floor of this building who's a master at creating and solving puzzles. I actually first met him at a convention in Massachusetts. I am so happy for you guys. And I understand being in close proximity to opportunities that you're passionate about at any age, but especially after retirement. Mm. You've worked so hard and now it's the time to play harder. Mm. Does Mary know that you suggested this location for that reason? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I, I didn't tell her, no. The two of you are so much alike, more than you think. I know she'd understand. She loved New Mexico. The weather was perfect for her allergies. Sold our home, left good neighbors and a strong, loving community for what? So I can do puzzles? Stop it. You sound like you want to hide the fact that you're having fun, that you're enjoying your life. Isn't that why you retired? To do what you want to do? Now, sometimes I'm enjoying this so much that I almost feel guilty. I should be spending more time with my family. No, that's not fair. Not at all. You and Mary both need this time of enjoyment. Well, I also want to spend time with my grandchildren. And you can. You can do both. But in my humble goat farmer's opinion, <laughs> you both want more than just becoming the condiments or double meat to anyone's sandwich. <laughs> You made the right choice in moving back to New York. It's where it all started. And when the time comes, it'll be easier for Kelly to support you as needed. Puzzle one, second letter change, OA, former farmer. Puzzle two, deletion, friend fiend. Puzzle three, deletion, meditate, mediate. Okay, the farmer is always available to mediate between the former numbers cruncher and the puzzle creator. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to have been one and now to have pride in becoming the other. Oh. Uh, by the way, did I tell you about my other job? Another job? I run a, a taxi service. Uh Got to pick up the kids from practice. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell Mary we'll talk. Much love to you both. Okay. Say hello to the boys and your mother. Bye now. Hey, Mary, are you okay? Yes, dear. I'm fine. I'm fine. Valentina had to go pick up the boys from practice. She said uh, y'all will speak later. Okay. Oh. oh, thank you, dear. Uh, Mary. Yes. We need to talk. I know. I overheard you and Valentina. I haven't been forthcoming with you about our move. And I'm embarrassed. I've never kept anything from you. And I've never lied to you, ever. I know. I have something to tell you, too. Uh, well, you go first. I love our children. I love the life we gave them. I love seeing them with their families. I enjoy visiting them. But I love our little apartment. I'm starting to meet some really nice people right here in the building. And everything I want to do is, is right within walking distance. And everything I want to do is theater. 
Why are you smiling? Do you remember when we first met at that cafe on 34th and 7th? Oh, how can I forget? I was barely in my 20s. I was headed to an audition. You ordered tea and later more water. Every time the waiter came over, you used a different voice, <laughs> different dialect, cadence. I think one time you even spoke with a lisp. <laughs> oh, I wanted more than anything to be on the stage. I asked you out to lunch that day. And you've had the starring role in our family ever since. I'm not ready to go back to that role. I understand. You want to perform on a stage. I do. You never lost your passion for theater. No, I didn't. But, you know, I, I hate disappointing the children, and, and she'll be so upset. Well, for a while, maybe. We can show her all of our paperwork, anything that she wants to see, so she'll know that all of our ducks are in a row. We can even give her a key to the safety deposit box to put her mind at ease. That's a great idea. Let's do that as soon as possible. And, and, I'll, and we'll sit down with her and just talk this through. Yeah, she just wants to know that her parents are okay. Uh, I am so glad this is finally coming out. I've been stressing over it. Oh, oh no need to stress. Now that my cat's out of the bag, what were you going to tell me? Back to the day we met. You remember how nervous I was? How I gave my whole elevator pitch before I asked to take you to lunch? It feels just like yesterday. But 40 years later and I'm nervous again. <laughs> okay, here goes. Um, hi, my name is Robert. <laughs> But my family and friends call me Bob. Hi, Bob. <laughs> my beautiful wife and I raised our family. And now it's our turn to have our own interests, enjoy each other's company, and have our own independence. I'm a retired accountant who now enjoys creating and solving puzzles. I chose this community due to its proximity to others who share my passion. And I agree because it's also where I want to be. Great minds think alike. Indeed, they do. <laughs> Was that all? Was that your secret? Yes. Was, was that yours? Yes, it was. That uh, wasn't a secret at all, was it? No. <laughs> and neither was yours, not uh. hardly. <laughs> Well, we need to agree on one more thing. Oh, what's that? It's too late for lunch, but can I take you to dinner? What time is it? Almost 6.30. Mm. It's snowing. We'll be careful. You know, I passed this cafe the other day about two blocks down. I peeked in the window and they serve the best sandwiches. What about soup and uh, sandwiches? Oh, no sandwiches for me, please. <laughs> what is this sandwich generation thing that they're trying <laughs> to push on us? Okay. Got everybody's undergarments in a tight wad. I cannot wait to see you perform again. <laughs> <laughs> you will. You will. There we are. <laughs> wow. Really, really, really wonderful work. Come on, come on back, everyone. Let's talk for a few minutes. Uh, oh, Estrella, Marianne, hello, Chris, uh, Anne Marie, wait, wait, where's 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 our author? Author, author, there she author. is. Hello. Hi, Robin. How are you? Hi. Thank you all so much. Uh, I, I again, I apologize for the for, for our our late start tonight. And um, uh, sometimes the ghosts in the machine they just like to come back. Our captioning yeah. a little delayed on the other end. So my apologies to anyone watching who who buys the caption. Sometimes these things happen. Sometimes the 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 
connections are firing beautifully and sometimes <laughs> there's always a little hiccup or something but we got I mean but, but the thing is the work that you all did was just so wonderful um, I love this I love this play I thought it was so well performed and um, you know uh, such such real talent uh, from the writing to uh, to all of your wonderful performances um, I also really loved the juxtaposition between the uh, our use for modern communication, communicating on a on a Zoom, and yet the uh, just the, the, the you have this this wonderful married couple that are, and yet in the end it still works out beautifully. I have to, of course, I always like to start with our writer since it always all all of our work begins with the word. Uh, so let's. I have to ask you, Robin. Tell me, uh, what inspired you to write this? I, I, I know that I know that there's little bits and pieces of everybody in this play, but I'm just curious about how uh, what what got you to create. Wow, um, I was telling them earlier that when when we got the theme, I I had in my mind what what I wanted to to write about, but when I met the actors, all of that went like out the window. So I had to like start fresh. So I started thinking about, um, about my mother, who my siblings and I are, are taking turns um, with care, caregiver uh, duties. So, and thinking about that, and also thinking about the time when it will be my turn to be possibly cared for by one of my kids and not wanting to, you know, be a bother. And so, you know, all these thoughts are coming up and, and then I have this, this, this writing deadline and I'm like, okay, this is on my heart. And, and you have to realize when you have so many people in involved with like caregiving and, and things like that, you have to, be able to communicate well. And um, so that's where that piece came in about the things maybe that, that we don't say, mm -hmm. that we want to say, and then being honest with our feelings, like really honest. So um, that's where, where it all came from. Mm -hmm. It was really, really beautiful. Uh, I, 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 first of all, I love the way, I love your, the way you write. I love the way you approach uh, uh, your writing and it really just feels very uh, warm and sincere and genuine. And uh, you you created characters that everyone was really so uh, able, I believe, to embody. And and it was really quite quite beautiful. Um, uh, do you do you remember the discussions you had with the actors as you were talking to them? And uh, is there anything that they might have said to you that? might have helped or that might have found its way into this work? Oh, yes. Um, Marianne loves to perform. <laughs> um, and <laughs> Christopher is um, a member of um, PNL. So he, 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 he does puzzles. And also, Australia um, lives on a farm. <laughs> So I definitely want, once we started talking about, like, I like to ask about, you know, well, tell, tell me about yourself. What, what gives you joy? And they started to, to talk about those things. So I'm like, okay. And so that's what it was. Yeah. It, it, it all came through and yeah. It, it, and of course, full disclosure, I, I, I completely got all of it. Like I knew, I, I knew a little bit of the background of all of your, 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 these suspects that we're all performing tonight. And it was just so great to sort of see how that element of those elements of their lives were so beautifully woven into the story that you've created. Such, such an incredible uh, story and, and such beautiful writing. So thank, thank, thank you. you. You're, you're so amazing. And you're also such a, a wonderful performer. And it, I would I would love to have you as a teacher. If uh, that would be that would be a great. Story. So, thank you. thank you. 
Uh, so, so now I have to, I have to ask Anne Marie because you got to direct this, and I know that these last few weeks have been a, a, a little rough. We've been going through some, uh, you know, other personal things, but tell me about what this experience was like for you uh, to be able to have. I, I always, all right. Let me just preface this first by saying, as from a directing standpoint, you always say the. The true directing begins with the casting. Once you have a set of great, a group of great actors, the show directs itself. I don't think that's necessarily true, but it really does help when you have such great, uh, a great ensemble of artists. What was this like for you? Oh, it was an absolute joy. Um, and it's true. I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, this basically directed itself. I just had to, you know, give them a little tweak here and there. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's their, it, it is, it's, it's based mm -hmm. on their own stories and yeah, everyone just embraced it and, and right from the beginning. And it was really great. I did learn what a metathesis is, if I'm saying that right. Um, so that was exciting. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, it just, it, it was, it was pure joy. I mean, my, my big thing was, you know, pushing Chris into a corner and um, looking looking at Estrella's kitchen from all angles. So, you know, and that's a real kitchen. Like that's not a background. That's a real. It's amazing. I'm jealous. Um, yeah, that's a real kitchen. Um, it looks like like a fake background, but that's not fake. None of these backgrounds, by the way, are fake except for yours, which is a photograph. But it is a photograph of something real. Yeah. Well, aren't most photographs? Not necessarily. It could be a it could be a photograph of 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 like a picture or a drawing, or it could be an abstract something. Oh. Now this is an actual sunset, um, so it is real. From um, your own no, this is actually oh. when I was in Pennsylvania, like two years ago, in the middle of winter, and I oh. was like, holy cow, look at that yeah, sky! Yeah, really. It was one of those, wow, I need to take it. We need a picture of that because, <laughs> wow. But yeah, no, I mean, it was, it, like I said, it was, it was, it was a joy. I mean, these guys, they're all pros and it was just very easy to direct. It, it's really wonderful. I will, I will say one other little thing. Um, and I'm sure I will repeat it again uh, tonight, maybe more than once. Uh, one of the great gifts I, I, as, as the artistic director of this company, I think, you know, I always say this company can, is, is only as good as the artists that work within it to help create the work. And I feel so incredibly privileged and blessed to um, know so many wonderful and so many gifted artists that really are helping us uh, not only uh, elevate the company, but really elevate our mission and our cause and what we really stand for. And um, I'm just so grateful to all of you for everything that you do. And when I'm able to uh, sit back and watch you work in, you know, for example, in a situation like this, it just is such a great uh, treat. And uh, I, I, it just always makes me realize, wow, how lucky, how lucky. So yep. thank all right, on to the artists now. And, and then I want to give you a few minutes break before we move on to the next show, which I hope all of you who are watching will join us because this show is so good. You're going to want to see it twice. Like a, it's like a delicious dessert that one helping is just not enough. <laughs> so um, I, will, I will start with you, Chris, because I'm always in awe of you. I think you're such a, um, a, a gifted artist. I, I'm, I'm in awe of your mind. You have this brilliant mind. Um, uh, you know, and I know that this was a character that in many, many ways you could easily identify with because a good part of it is you. Um, I don't know if you've ever worked with, I think you've worked with Anne-Marie before. I don't know if you worked with anybody else here. No, everybody world. except for Anne-Marie was, uh, was new to me. So but that's been true in almost every one of the, what, four or five of, um, of the playwrights intensives, virtual or in person or anything. It, there's always at least, you know, half the people are new to me. Mm -hmm. I recognize the people in the other groups and everything, but, uh, but but I'm always working with new people. It's really very refreshing and really fun. And 
uh, makes every experience very, very different for me too. I'm always surprised what I learn. It's not just the same old grind. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. I, I think it's, I think it's uh, extraordinary again, as an artist to just how always have uh, to, to be able to just work with all these, uh, you know, sometimes you get a little concerned because you say to yourself, all right, um, I hope that the chemistry works because sometimes right. rarely, very rarely, I'd say, I don't think it, I, I knock wood. I don't think at all during this intensive, but in some intensives, we've had one or two instances where there might've been a little bit of a, uh, a disagreement uh, and it, it, it can throw the whole group off. Um, and so you, you, you were always a little bit nervous about that, but, but maybe I've just gotten lucky, but the, 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 the chemistry has always been really different and sometimes it's more comfortable and sometimes it's less comfortable, but it's always, you know, um, sort of creative and generative and, and something, maybe I don't, you know, go to bed happy every single night, you know, in certain of the experiences, but that doesn't mean that I don't sort of wake up, you know, feeling excited about the next rehearsal or the next performance. Oh, that's, that's lovely for you to say. How was, what was it like? Tell me about this particular experience for you. Is there anything that stands out in your, in your mind uh, that, that makes this um, uh, exceptional? A couple of things. I mean, I, I think that this, of, of all of the, the um, uh, playwrights intensive short plays that I've done. This is the one where I felt like the the playwright did throw out any preconceived notions of anything he or she was going to to write and listened to what I said and listened to what Marianne said and listened um, to what Estrella said and then wrote a play about those things that we said. Uh, and she didn't stop to decide whether are those important enough or dramatic enough or anything. She just slapped up. I mean, she, she doesn't, you know, hasn't looked into our souls or anything. She, we've known each other a brief, uh, for a brief time. But what she knew of us and what she could, you know, glean from that 45 minute conversation, I felt like it, it was, you know, it was up on the screen very, very effectively. And it was fun to explore, you know, uh, at a little more length to those things that we had said to her. And, and that's the other thing that I thought was wonderful about this is the play uh, is very sort of unprescriptive, very sort of discursive that, I mean, at the end, what we're going to go do is have a meal and maybe we can try this. <laughs> I mean, there, there's no, I know this will work. This is what, and uh, um, uh, Valentina and Mary and Bob and the absent Kelly, I think all have really different ideas about, you know, and, and they're very committed to, to those ideas about how you should live, you know, the different parts of your life and, you know, the next stage that you're going to but they talk about it and discuss it and they don't fight about it. Um, and that, that was a very, they, they keep secrets. That's about as aggressive as they get. They don't tell somebody something. Mm -hmm. um, but, but, but that was a real different sort of tone that I've had in, um, well, in a lot of the plays that I've been in in my whole life. Uh, you're told that there must be conflict all the time. Yes. And I liked the tone of the conflict in this. It's, as I say, it's a kind of discussion kind of conflict instead of a, you must do this because I think that this is right. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I find throughout it's very loving. There is a, a, mm -hmm. a great loving uh, tone and also very respectful tone, which is to me so, so important because we live in a world now where those things are so lacking. Um, we tend to be much more... Um, drawn to doing this with instead of just being and and uh yeah that, i think that's just absolutely beautiful and that absolutely uh, such a great a great great and astute observation thank you so much and i got the same metathesis so that was you did. You that did. was pretty good too <laughs> your, your mind always you, you I, I, you're just <laughs> Smart. I mean, come on. I I don't want to. I, I don't like. I, I'm sorry. Forgive me for mention for mentioning that you were on Jeopardy. So um, oh, that, yeah, it's always a great joy. But yeah, yeah, you're you're extraordinary. So and it's such a such a gift. So thank you. Um, I want to go to you, Estrella, because you have worked with us many times. I want to say Marianne for last because this is her first time working with us. So what was this like for you in coming coming to us from New Mexico? Um, well, because I had previously been coming from the West Coast, so um, the time change is smaller. <laughs> That's good. 
Um, yeah, I hadn't lived in New Mexico for 30 years. So it's, um, I moved back a couple of years ago, well, maybe now a year and a half ago. So it's been, um, it's been an adjustment, but the fact that I can do this with you guys from anywhere is amazing. And you know, my dream of doing New York city theater. So, um, here I am virtually with you guys. And one day we, you know, we will, we will all meet in person. Um, and it's one of those things where I've worked with Robin before. I haven't, Emery, I don't think we've worked on a project together, but I've, no. you know, I've known you and Nick this whole time and I feel like we have worked together. Um, and the cool thing about the way you do it, because I know new people who are watching tonight don't know your process, which is you put actors, directors, and writers in a hat, and then you choose people and put, group them. So it's totally random. And that's one of the most, it's like, it's like a kid on the first day of school. It's like, you are wondering who you're going to get paired with. Um, I've, I've acted in Robin's plays before, and I've written for Robin before, I believe. Right, Robin? Um, so that's really cool that we've done this flip-flopping thing. And um, I love Robin's mind. I love her writing. I think she's amazing. I love working with Chris and with Marianne. I feel like this has been such a great experience. And the cool thing about TBTB on the virtual stuff is that we get to, I, I've made so many friends, so many friends doing this. And now I know like I can go to all different parts of the world and, and the US and um, call you guys up and say, hey, I'm in town. I know one day I will do that. So that's a really amazing thing. Um, Working on this play is so people think, well, because it's conversational, it's probably so easy. And I feel like the conversational plays are some of the hardest. Mm -hmm. And because you have to be natural, you have to find a way to connect with the material and with the character in a natural way where it doesn't feel put on or like you're reading something. So I feel to me that I feel the conversational pieces are the most tricky, I think. Um, and Anne-Marie is amazing. And she made us really think about, because I think when you're reading a, a play for the first time and then you are rehearsing it, sometimes you don't quite, it doesn't quite match in your head, like what you're reading and what you're doing. And Anne-Marie was so good at like saying, okay, wait a minute, what are you doing with this line? Like, um, think about it. Like, think about what, what are, what are you connecting that to? Because it's so easy when you're reading something, it makes sense in your head, but when you are actually saying the words, they don't always match. Right. So, um, so that, that's really interesting and knowing where those natural pauses are, right. When, when we're having conversations. So, um, I just think Robin writes so, um, organically mm -hmm. and she really writes for the character and I just love your work, Robin. And I know she's a teacher too. I'm a teacher too. So we have that, you know, that teacher thing. And, and so it's, it's been a really great experience and I, mm -hmm. I love work. I hope you never stop the virtual stuff because I'm probably never going to move to New York city. That's just the reality. Um, but I, um, I love working with you guys. I love this company so much. So thank you for letting me be a part of it. Thank goodness. Thank you as well. And no, we're not going to stop the virtual things, the, the virtual work, because I feel it's very important. Um, and uh, for all of you out there, you will get to uh, see how uh, deeply talented Estrella is because she has a play that uh, we're going to be performing on Friday. So we can't wait for that. Uh, again, it's so lucky to have such great, incredibly talented people. All right, Marianne, to you. This is your first time working with us. Um, yes. Tell me, honestly, you can tell me if, if whether, you know, any, any experiences you had, what was this like for you? Oh, wow. Um, first of all, Nick, I have to thank you um, for this opportunity and for this experience to work with your wonderful theater company. This has really been a joy. Um, in my head, I thought, oh, I'm going to get to do a live play. I haven't been able to do live theater for a while. This is great. And then we, we folded in doing it technically. And 
being an actor, I like to look at the person I'm talking to. I want to look in their eyes and have that. You can't do that with this. It's a whole other animal. So yes, it's live, but I'm looking at a dot. And out of the corner of my eye, I see my scene partner and I'm so tempted to want to look at that person. So it's a, a whole new technique um, that I'm learning. I, I, I've done a lot of on Zoom in the past four years with friends and family and classes. So I thought, oh, I know how to do this. No. Um, this was this was learning, a learning experience for me. So and I love to learn new things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's how it was for me. Well, I I'm, I'm very much appreciate that. You know, I mean, we've talked about this a lot in past uh, uh, talkbacks and things. And I think what's really fascinating is it's not film. This is not film no. television. It's not like being on stage, live theater. It's kind of a hybrid. It's, you know, this, this is a very flat screen. You're looking at everyone in boxes. You have to try to look into the camera to, to you know, and yet there's, there's a lot of elements. And then plus you also have to control when you're on and off and, and, and how you look in the camera, how you turn your head uh, all and, and how you play with the camera has a great deal to do with how the audience will see you. So there's a, a lot of that is all self, uh, self generated. You know, you can have a director say, when you, when you say this line, come in a little closer, like it's very intimate, like you're whispering. But the fact of the matter is that's up to you to do that. So mm -hmm. it, it is a very unique perspective. Tucker, um, I, I wanted to know if you had any thoughts before we we before we break everyone and get 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 on to the next show. I want to give you all. You know what? I'm going to and I'm, I'm going to say thank you to all of you guys uh, because I want to give you some extra time so I I can wrap this with uh, Tucker so you can go off camera, get a glass of water, do what you have to, and we're going to be going to our next show in a few minutes. So thank you. Bye all. for now. <laughs> Tucker, what did you think? Do you have do, do you have any feelings? I I really drawn to Bobby Marcho. How she tell how they play with my the communication. Yes. Of, Working together, like for me, I have a team of aides mm. who help me for my life. Yes. So, so I try to really easy to communicate. It mm -hmm. oh, it's a time harder. Yes. But I, I have a question for Bobby, but I will say before Facebook. Perfect. We will we'll hold your question and we'll have a little bit more time during the second show to add to expand on that a little bit of detail, but I find it really fascinating, Tucker, because of, as you say, you always have to hire and work with new aides and finding people that you can communicate with that, that some that it, it's easy to communicate some it's not. It's, it's interesting how we all operate and how our world is uh, works. But um, I think this was such a wonderful play. So I'm so grateful to all of our artists and I am so grateful to you for joining us. Thank you all so much for being with us tonight. Um, of course, tomorrow, the, the festivities continue. Uh, we have a, another wonderful original play. Uh, the play tomorrow night was written by Juan Carlos Rodriguez. The play is um, Cultivated Soul, uh, a, beautifully directed by Gaia Vishnar. Uh, and we have again, Sorry, I keep saying the words wonderful, brilliant, stellar, whatever, but I don't know how else to say how incredibly gifted these artists are. Our cast tomorrow is uh, uh, Sashi Banjera, Alyssa H. Chase, and Patrick J. O'Hare. Marianne, did you have something you wanted to add? 
Ah, sorry. <laughs> in any event, uh, please join us 7.30 here on Facebook. We hope we'll be right on time with that. And um, and then 8.30 on Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. We look forward to uh, seeing you again. And um, maybe you'll also come and see our live performances. We're doing a live in-person show this Sunday, which you are welcome to come if you're in New York City. And then in the spring, we'll tell you all about that later as well. Thank you again so much. Have a great evening. See you tomorrow or in a few minutes. Bye-bye.